Okay, chess is all about the unknown and playing against somebody who you don't know, you have no idea of their rating, their skill level, that's basically the ultimate of chess because we spend so much time knowing that somebody is a certain rating so then we assume that they play a certain way or to a certain standard because of that rating and it's all a little bit untrue because you could have people who have a low rating on websites but they don't play that often maybe in that category bullet they don't play a lot or maybe blitz they don't play a lot but they may have a very high rating in all of the other categories such as rapid or classical or even correspondence it might be the other way around they might have a low rating in rapid correspondence classic but have a really high rating in bullet and blitz so you can never really tell a person's skill level based purely on their rating this is why I like to play a lot of anonymous games because you don't know who you're actually playing I'm going to bring the bishop here and you do get some shocks and surprises you do get some really bad play but then it's how you deal with that bad play Yep, and then also it's looking at the good play and the quirky sort of methods that are used so I don't go in with a, an assumption of this person is a rating so they're going to play like a robot in this certain way I'm going to just bring the knight out here might go for the fianchetto thing which I don't like um, let's take this he must take the bishop, oh mind you it doesn't because the queen can take there, uh, yep there we go and obviously we're not feeling chattering just yet let's give the queen a little touch with a little pawn so what do we want to do in this um, unknown anonymous game opponent seems to have come out looking really quite good with their skill level but that shouldn't be a surprise to anybody because everybody to me is a high level player until they prove that themselves are not a high level player so the thing I've got to prove to myself is that I know how to play as best as I can using the systems that we've been working on so we're attacking the bishop also defending the pawn twice because he's attacking the pawn twice here so you probably want to maintain his attack on there so I'll bring the bishop back so that little bit of knowledge there with them putting a 2 on 1 and then targeting here shows an okay level of understanding so we've got a smaller piece that can shoo the bishop away so the bishop isn't really going to go here they're not going to go back to here so they're going to have to come away from attacking this pawn which is a good result for us so that the idea is to put pressure on pieces squares weak areas so that the opponent either resigns or capitulates or we put pr this is the stuff that kind of makes me laugh but I, I'm always very wary so they brought the bishop back here it's got no protection on it so we can grab the bishop here so little things like that the development up to this point um, I was singing their praises basically saying well they've got an idea about the two on ones you know etc movement of the pawns coming down earlier seemed okay but it's for them to prove that they're not of a higher level so the queen's come down now we could come here looking to put pressure on the pawn and it, 
it does give you a false sense of security when you see somebody leave a piece like that and you take it you think right go here in front of the king they're not going to see that my queen is coming there but he simply just pushes his pawn down but then what we can get is the queen and the king so we can get his queen off the board if they do that so we'll bring the queen here and if they drop the pawn well which they haven't okay so looks like we've fallen into a plan of some sort of checkmate so that's a good way of practicing your own understanding and your own pattern recognition and basically it's taking advantage of what the opponent actually gives you